Here's my review on Eternals. Now, this is a very mixed movie, or very hated. Um, it's more leaning on the hated side than mixed. So yeah, let's get into this. Um, this movie is, for me, I'm mixed too. Because before, like a couple of months ago, I was like, oh, this is my fourth favorite Marvel movie. And I don't know why I was thinking that, because I just rewatched it. And it's not that I dislike it now, it's that I see what people are saying. I really do like this movie and think it's underrated, but let's start off with the bad. Okay, so the bad of this movie. And it's a lot of stuff, but it's, the characters are really getting it. But there's so many characters inter introduced. Like, I do not like Spray. I do not like Ajax. I, Fastos was good, but I didn't really see Fastos. I, well, Fastos was actually good. Athena, I didn't care about. A lot of the Eternals I didn't really care about because there were so many. You can't like all ten characters at once. So a lot of the characters were not the best. And the storyline is really messy how they're jumping from time to time in this movie. But I caught along pretty good. I, I know a lot of people really didn't know what was happening. And I got the story pretty good. Just watch a new Rockstar's breakdown, I guess. Then you see, but... Yeah, it's a it's an okay movie. Um, well, yeah, the secondary villain is really bad. They just killed him off in two seconds, and okay. So let's talk about the good of this movie. And the good is Icarus as the villain, Saucy as the main hero, Druig, Fastos, McCoy, the action, the CGI. And everything else. This movie is so good. And I like how it actually felt like they were filming on locations in this movie. If you don't know what I mean by that, Disney uses um, a sound thing. If you don't know what that is, it's like they're in a green screen room. And maybe some parts they have like a real ground. But they're in a just... And they have lights and everything else is CGI in the movie. They're just in a blue room, and it's CGI. Or a sound, I don't know, it's it's either a sound is the one they use for Mandalorian, which they, it's like TVs as the background. But this movie felt like they were filming on location, in the beach, in the actual outside, not in a studio. So that's what I really liked about this movie, and so good. So, yeah, this movie is pretty good, and I think if this wasn't an MCU movie, that people would like it, because, I don't know, I feel like it's just people like hating on the MCU now, and I'm not saying those people are wrong, a lot of the MCU is pretty, not bad now, but very mixed, and it's really good, and then really bad, and that's how it is. So, yeah, that's my review, and this movie, for me, gets a 6 out of 10. You definitely should go watch it. It's on Disney Plus now, and see if you like it for yourself. And if you already wa watched it, tell me what you think in the comments. See you guys tomorrow with... I think we're reviewing Eternals figures. So, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.